been an interesting one today. <sighs> um, yeah, I remember hearing that it was supposed to be not great today, like rain mixed with uh, just cloud for most of the day. So, but luckily, um, my quilt stayed mostly dry last night. So. Even if I can't dry it out today, um, I'm sure it'll be fine. But um, the trail's been really interesting because if you can see there, my shoes have been picking up all the mud. And it's just basically, they're just slicks. Like there's no traction at all. So um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see how it goes today. I'm probably gonna be going a little slower because the uphills you're just slipping and sliding the whole time so and the mud just stays on there like it just gets completely caked of the tread so but uh, but yeah we'll uh, do as many miles as we can and uh, try and enjoy the day and I'll check in in the evening Good evening. I do my check in here before uh, before it gets too dark. So I'm just good camp set up. I can't remember what this campsite's called, but building down there has um, flushing toilets, hot water. They have showers too, but the showers aren't open, and then you can't really see it. But there's a little electrical box down there where I got some stuff plugged in to charge. So it's a nice little bonus. I'm gonna try and, my phone's charging right now. And my, uh, one of my, my 10,000 milliamp battery bank is charging too, so. Um, but I'll probably just, 
uh, throw it back on there in the morning because I'm not going to leave it down there overnight. But, um, but yeah, it's kind of weird campsite. Like the gates are open, but the parking lot's full of weeds and stuff. So I don't know if they're just not using it anymore or what. But um, so yeah, I ended up doing uh, 29 miles today, which was a little bit less than I wanted to do, but. It's still fairly early and I'm I'm literally just gonna finish eating and then um, grab my stuff and go to bed so that I can get up early tomorrow. Um, it's calling for rain and it's been pretty overcast and it kind of was spitting a little bit um, when I came in here today, but um, but yeah, so I don't know. The trails get pretty like, whatever this dirt is that's out here is, it just turns into like mud and just ca completely cakes your shoes when it gets wet. So I'm hoping it, it doesn't rain tomorrow. Um, or at least I go through some areas that it's not. But uh, I think I might be hitting Fish Lake tomorrow. Because I'm planning on doing um, about 30, like 33 or 34. Because right now I'm 33 miles out from uh, the I-5. So... Um, I'm going to I'm going to try and just get in the habit of getting up early and um just hitting trail early. This morning took forever to pack up because everything was just soaked and then I sat around uh it got somewhat sunny for like an hour at lunch today, so I sat around for like an hour and a half trying to dry all my stuff out. Um and I'm glad I did cuz it it turned into uh it was overcast and it wasn't very warm and it started spitting again so um and then i set my tent up let that kind of air out for like a half an hour um before i put my stuff in there but so uh everything's mostly dry my quilt's not super dry but it didn't really get super wet last night either so and i will have to dig a hole tomorrow morning i can just go to the bathroom here before i leave so it should be um it should be a little easier to uh, get packed up and stuff. And there's like this nice table here too. So um, I can at least keep my stuff like out of the out of the dirt tomorrow morning when I'm packing up. So um, should be good. Um, yeah, so I'm two. Tomorrow I should be past Fish Lake. I'm like two, yeah, I'm two and a, and a bit days out. Cause I planned on like three and a half days into Crater Lake, so. Yeah, two, two in a little bit, but I'm going to try and still get, you know, 30 miles or so on the days where I go into town. So it'd be nice to, hopefully my package is there, uh, Crater Lake, because if it's not, then, um, I don't know. I can either see if they'll bounce it ahead and do the resupply there and head out or, um, risk it and, you know, wait for another day. I don't really want to be sitting around waiting for stuff but we'll we'll uh we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so but uh but yeah it was a good day um some beautiful little meadows do a tick check because there's just tons of long grass around here everywhere um before i go to bed and uh, that was another reason why i wanted to hit the shower too but um but yeah it was, it's been beautiful oregon feels quite a bit different even though it's it's not like really that different from NorCal, so, <laughs> but just mentally it's been, it's been refreshing anyways. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish my dinner, grab my stuff and uh, head to bed so I can start again tomorrow morning. And I'll check in again tomorrow morning.